Hi, Dave. Hey, Dennis. How you doing? Good. Where are we? Grandy Ballroom. Where are we, Dennis? The Grandy Ballroom? What Jeez, day? It needs a paint job, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Let me see. Today is October 30th. Hmm, tomorrow's the 31st. That's Halloween. Nice Devil's Night. Oh, yeah! Now I remember. 28 years ago was the night we recorded Kick Out the Jams, our first album. In fact, that was the first live album ever done by a rock and roll band. Hmm. Boy, that was that took, that took a lot of balls, didn't it? Yes, it did. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's 28 years ago today. So mystical, magical. Whose idea was this? Yours? It's in the cards. Ah, it's in the, it's in the cards. Yeah. Okay, let's call it. Let's call it destiny. When destiny kisses fate. Some hey, I'm just a sad man living in a plaid land. The walls are closing in, Joe. The squares have fenced my very soul. Dennis Thompson. Tell us about the other guys in the band. Tell us about Rob. I used to room with Rob. Um, I liked rooming with Rob because he was the most intelligent guy in the band. And Rob and I could talk about uh, everything. We could talk about mathematics, mathematics philosophy, philosophy, topical events. He wasn't a sports nut. He wasn't. A, uh, he was a very intelligent man, and we got along very, very well. He, he helped me get through some, some tough time with Smack. Uh, things got bad for us, and I got I got introduced to uh, that nasty drug, and uh, unfortunately, I was a junkie for a while. And uh, we, when we were going to Europe, I used to ha I cold turkey every. Uh, we'd go for uh, three or four uh, days to Germany, a couple days to France, a couple days to Belgium, a couple days to uh, wherever, all over, Turku, Finland. And then I'd have to kick cold turkey because we'd come back to London, and I, I'd go straight to Chinatown and get their Chinese heroin, which is the best heroin you can you can buy. Through all those cold turkeys, Rob took care of me. And I'm climbing the walls. He used to give me rub downs and watch over me. And I really miss him. Rob Tanner's a great person. I really miss him. Uh, we, we, we came in here. We liked this place mainly because we had a place to practice. We, when I when I got out of the army, we were all free. So we lived on a, a above an old dentist office right close by here, and uh, we all lived together in this beat, rough, beaten up junky place, you know, dirty and whatever, but we all lived together there and we had a practice room downstairs. It was called the Artist Workshop. And every Saturday they would have beatnik, uh, beatnik uh, fest. There'd be jazz, uh, jazz, uh, local jazz uh, bands playing and poetry readings. Allen Ginsberg stopped by and a couple of times and read poems, Sinclair, other people. And what it was, it was close enough where we could practice and really get big stage practice. We, were, we knew we were going to be big because we, we were good. We all grew up together. We knew we were going to, and the more we practiced, the better we got. We had a chemistry. We had a, a chemistry that's magical. I can't think of too many bands besides the Elton Jones Quartet that had the chemistry that the MC5 had. Stones had it in the, uh, in the beginning. They had it. The Beatles had it, but not quite like the Five. Uh, the personalities in the Five were just, I guess, di diverse enough where we we had a blend that created a whole a whole circle. The circle never really closes, you know that. You, you can take pi, which is a mathematical figure, it's the ratio of the diam uh, diameter of a circle to the circumference. It's 22 divided by 7. Well, you, the, the Japanese ran a computer program on pi, and they, I guess they've taken it to 3 point to the 10 millionth place. So it's an unresolved number, number, which means that that circle never does really ever close. It's, a, it's an illusion, but it does close. That's where macro infinity meets mi micro infinity, and that's what you call God. God is everywhere. God is everything. He's everything. He's, that's what LSD was good for back in those days. You, you, you could, your mind went to, to higher planes, spiritual planes. A lot of people had bad trips because they had bad personality. Their karma was bad. What was the damn question? I forgot. Oh, you, which is about three feet high, out into the crowd, did a swan dive, thinking the crowd would catch him. Everybody did this. <laughs> Bam, body slam. Hits the fucking wall. Har, har. So, 
I'm freezing, and there's one thing I like to say, and, and that is, now, I, I, there's one word I'm not going to say, okay? I don't want to be uh, sued, but I'm going to say, we'll do it three times. The third time, I want to hear it, really. I want to I scream it out. I'll say the first part, you guys say the last part. Kick out the jam! Motherfuckers! Oh, come on! Come on! Let's try that. You can do better. Kick out the jam! Motherfuckers! That's better, that's better. Now let's get it right. Maybe we'll play the fucking song. Kick out the jam! Motherfuckers! Yeah! Stay alive with the MC5. Yeah. Um, cool! Now I can warm up. Everybody don't forget to give you a hug. I just I set those down so I can give you a hug. That's all. I lost all.